Can you change the value that Zillow has for the estimate of your house? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling houses that are in trusts and in probate, when seniors need to downsize, and I also help regular buyers and sellers. But today I'm going to talk to you about the Zillow estimate. So many people put way too much value on what that estimate is. I can't tell you how often sellers meet with me before putting their house on the market and they're like, oh Annie, I looked on Zillow and my house is worth $2.2 million. And I'm like, oh no, because I know darn well it's not that high. And then that's where my expertise and my knowledge comes in and I have to show really where the value is. And then sometimes I have sellers come to me and say, gosh, the value only is 1.5. And I thought it was going to be higher than that. And I say, you're right, it, it should be much higher. Well, that's most likely because Zillow just has their proprietary algorithm, just a computer that's pulling public data about the size, the number of bedrooms, you know, the lot size, just really basic information. So as a homeowner, if you care to, you can help educate Zillow essentially and provide information that will increase the value of your house. So today I'm going to give you a little tutorial. Come along with me and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so first things first, go to the Zillow homepage and let's type in an address. I'm going to use one for a house I will be selling soon. And you go up here, there's the public view or the owner view. So click on the owner view. It will ask you to, if you are the owner and you have to provide some information, which I already did. And then we just click here, edit facts. And let's go start adding what you need to add. And I happen to know a lot about this house. Um, so I'm going to just start clicking away here. This is what you can do. You know, certain details in the room, um, are there, you know, is the basement finished or not? Is there air? Is there not? Um, the kind of flooring. I know these people, they've updated their flooring. Uh, any of these rooms, do they have any extra things that, they, that Zillow hasn't added? And it's as easy as that. Just keep on going, keep on adding. Um, and then at the end, you can upload new pictures too. I know, for example, this house hasn't, it was on the market, I think about 20 years ago. So I could add more pictures, update that. And then you just click save. And there you go. And so why is it even important to care what Zillow says? Well, for one, sometimes it's just people's ego. They just wanna make sure that the highest value is there when if maybe Zillow has been showing the value too low. Sometimes people want to make sure it's really high because they're about to go on the market and they want to use that to tell people or have their realtor say, hey, you know, on Zillow, it actually shows that it's 2.2 when really we probably know it's only 1.9. The bottom line is we shouldn't put so much weight on Zillow estimates, but I know it's just easy, accessible, and people like Zillow. So I hope that helped. It's pretty easy to provide some information to Zillow so they can be a little bit more accurate with their data. Uh, if you liked anything I had to say, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Until next time, have a great one.